Hello, how's it going? Sol Tyre here. This is part 50 of my Roma Serectum 3 Let's Play campaign as the Seleucid Empire. In the last episode, I had our leader, uh, Antiochus III, attack and defeat a full stack Pergamon army just south of Sardis. Uh, and then I also had um, Clitarchus cross the Pactolus River, attack and defeat a much smaller Pergamon army here in Mysia. Now this leaves us uh, close to wiping out this faction. They only have the two settlements left, Pergamon here, which we'll talk about shortly, and um, Assos on the coast. Now I'm pretty certain I've got one more army somewhere that we can't see. Just looking back on the battles that I've fought, I'm pretty sure we haven't fought them all. So my guess is they're behind somewhere in and around this region here in Troas perhaps. Um, but I will want to find them before I do anything else. So first of all, get the background script up and running. I've got a spy in Pergamon. I'll get him out in a minute, have a look around. I don't think they'll be down here because we had his army on that bridge. Uh, but I will get the governor out of Ephesus where I've got my elephants that I'm going to need for the Assos. I'll bring him out of there just to have a quick look, but I'll take him slowly, just in case, don't let him run into them. Bring him up here. Nah, his line of sight, we'd be able to see there, so... No, nothing there. Got our elephants, I must remember them. Um, I'll move Clitarchus up there and use his line of sight to look on this island. Nothing there. Alright, let's go and get our spy. Now, I've got, the spy's got a 72% chance of uh, opening the gates and that would happen, I would say, 80% of the time but in this occasion, it might not because they've got um, Yemeni's their national leader in there and uh, also another family member and I, I think that might be enough to prevent them from getting the gates open but saying that, I, I wouldn't really want to go in that way uh, because this is a very strong garrison, albeit just half a stack now I've got experience of Pergamon and um, it's a difficult settlement to capture. I'll explain more about it shortly, but um, it was difficult to take with lesser with lesser garrison than this. I think um, I've had two campaigns, if I remember correctly. Uh, Pontus and the Ptolemaics where I tried to take Pergamon and um, I was only up against like Ectromoy and uh, a Contestai, a Greek Pelter, something like that. It weren't the strongest troops in the world, but it was difficult to take, and um, I took a fair few casualties despite the weakness of the garrison. Now, as you can see, this is much stronger. They've all got silver experience, silver upgrades, and they're all good units. Uh, the uh, the Javcav here wouldn't be a lot of use to them inside the settlement, but the other ones will. I mean, I, the hot lights, which I spoke about before, hot lights of Pergamon. I've used them um, quite often when I played as Pergamon, and they're, they're tough to break down. There's another one of my favourite units here, the Basilicoi Peltastai. These are right bad, real badasses, especially when you use them f as flankers. They are expensive, so you never, you know, you don't usually recruit anymore. Maybe a couple of them for your best armies. But the stats are good, good defence, uh, you know, good melee, good missile, decent charge, and they're pretty tough overall. Um, then there's these beasts here, the Thoracotai Argerospides. Um, they're well expensive as well, as you can see there. 61 defence, a little bit more than Basilicoi, but quite similar. I think the biggest change difference is the shields are bigger. But they're, they're covered from head to toe in armour. And I don't well get a picture there, unfortunately, because of uh, the amount of content that's in this mod. The memory just doesn't handle it. Can't get all the information up. Um, there's a way to do it, but um, I won't go into it. It'll take too long to explain it. But um, well, if we can get a closer look at them, you'll see what I'm talking about. They've got large shields covered in head to toe in armour. And they actually wear a chainmail mask. So there you are, they're probably even the COVID back in those days. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, not trying to make too much fun of it, or too light of it, because we all know how dangerous COVID is. 
But anyway, yeah, they've got these chainmail masks, and uh, they're really a, a cool looking unit. I'll try and get a close up of them, let you see them. Um, they've also got these Thracken Pitzhoi who are pretty good. Um, they've got a pretty good melee attack and missiles as well. They're stronger than the Greek Heavy Peltas, which is one of my favourite units. Um, they're good They're good units in melee. I use them quite a lot in, uh, as flankers in melee, but mainly because of the carry around about, I think it was about 12 to 15 javelins, and they're pretty potent if you use them correctly. Damn good unit. Uh, but anyway, yeah, and they've got silver experience and, and silver upgrades as well. And then lastly, you've got the uh, Aspid Dofferoi, which are just Jav Carb. Again, they're a decent unit of Jav Carb, but they're not supporting within a settlement. So anyway, that's told you enough about them. Let's move on and get that spy out of there and go and have a look around. Um, now, we'll try up in this wooded area here. I don't think they'll be in Bithynia. My guess is they're in the. I've, I've got a feeling they were around here somewhere uh, with the other armies, but they all moved away. I, I just can't really remember. But we'll have a quick look up here. This is still inside their territory. Quite often you'll find um, armies that hide in their quite. Uh, uh, usually next to wooded areas or, or watchtowers like brigands and rebels. You'll find them round about there, but there's nothing there in this occasion. I'll bring them down here. So, no, nothing. He's line of sight will reach all this area and this village. So that only leaves this wooded area on the Macedonian border. Now I wouldn't imagine that they were there but pff, you never say never do you? So we'll go and have a look there. Ha! There they're there. Knew there was another one. They must have been on their way to attack uh, Lysa Makia. Let's have a look at him. Well, they don't have a general or family member. Uh, they've got several units that are quite depleted. Uh, there's a fair smattering of uh, silver experience. Silver upgrades in a few of them as well. And bronze experience and bronze upgrades. Uh, they've got a unit of Agarus Speedies there as well. There they are. I think you get a closer look at them now. Uh, I'd, I'd explain why you see this picture and didn't see it in the settlement, but it took too long. We've just put it down to the fact that it's a high content mod and it just doesn't have enough um, memory to show every time that you look on something. So there you are. Uh, they're a real cool looking unit. Look at these greaves on their legs, large shield, missiles, uh, the helmet, there's that chainmail mask I was talking about. And they're covered in armour. Amazing unit. They're going to be bloody tough to break down. But there's not a full um, stack there. And they don't have a general. So um, they'll be troublesome. But we should beat them uh, anyway. Now um, as I'm going to be besieging Pergamon. I don't want them to be coming to relieve Pergamon. I'll just check their movement. And you can see by this yellow shaded area. Or highlighted area. That's their, their area of movement, so they, they can reach the settlement alright. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take Clotarchus up there to block them. I, I think we could actually reach them, maybe attack them now, but I won't take that chance of wasting the time. I'll just block their movement by putting the armor there. That should be do the trick. There we are, that's fine. And now, uh, we'll take Clotarchus' army to besiege Pergamon. The other ones don't have enough movement. Uh, so we'll besiege. Now then, for those of you who have never played this mod before or never attacked Pergamon as part of a faction that you've been playing as, there's a glitch here and it's on the walls. Uh, I used ladders and towers to attack this settlement in the campaigns I played and the, the unit that was manning the ladder wouldn't climb the ladder up onto the walls and uh, on the tower I had the same issue there and when it did go up the tower they, they wouldn't come off the tower onto the walls now, so I contacted a couple of people that I know on the Total War Centre who knew this mod a lot better than I did at that time 
and they told me that the glitch wasn't with the tower like you normally expect it to be uh, it's with the wall and that would explain why the ladder uh, the, the men on the ladder wouldn't climb it the glitch is with the wall on this right hand side of the southern gateway uh, extends all the way around here uh, but you can come from that side and that's what I did I used a ladder and a couple of sap points uh, but the trouble there is that um, the sap points that I put up one uh, was to the front here and another one was to the east wall here now this is an outer stone wall here but there is also an inner stone wall around the settlement there's only the one road through from the south gate to the north gate here that's the only way you can go uh, to the town uh, town square and the pathfinding that problem uh, i found was very problematic in the space between the inner wall and the outer wall because of some outer buildings outlying buildings and some trees in that space between the inner and outer walls and the pathfinding was really annoying and um, it, you'll see yourself once I, once I get in there but that's the, the route I'm going to take this time um, it's just a bit of information I thought you should know in case you decide to play this mod or if you've never attacked Pergamon before that that's what you come up against you bear in mind you cannot get a ladder or tower on the wall or they're meant to come off them onto the wall to the right of the gateway alright so I'm going to put in one ladder and a couple of um, sap points and try that route and um, it'll be interesting a little bit irritating but it, ultimately it should be quite an entertaining battle the other thing is that um, let's say this will almost be like a prick victory it will be a long vic uh, battle and um, yeah I'll definitely be taking a lot of casualties uh, right I think I've said enough let's get uh, on to the end turn There we go, the spy's been moved away. Let's just check that movement now. Yeah, see now he can't they can get down to uh, uh get to Pergamon, but it's gonna to be too late. Um We're gonna attack Pergamon now. I'll come back to um construction and re recruitment and that and all the news after the battle I think. But first of all, I want to change the composition of this army. I need the best troops I can get. Because uh, I want to take this settlement. And there's no guarantees I, I will. But I'll definitely have a better chance with better troops. And we've got those in both these armies here. In fact, I'm even going to take Clytus out to give us a better general. Give us a better morale boost. And enhance our chances. And then I'm going to take out... Um, let me see all of the I'll take all of these and uh, the general take them outside the settlement like so and then I'll get Antiochus to the front there and I'm gonna get whatever those um, Thrakatai, here we are. We have these Thrakatai, in fact, we'll all use Thrakatai and Hippolectoi. Add them to the army. And then we'll take these two, Makaria Feroi as well. And Makaria Feroi, Hippolectoi. Now that's a strong army, but I'll still have trouble with that, I can assure you. Now, what I'm going to do next is we're going to get our elephants out. They can reach Assos, we're going to attack that. I'll explain more about Assos and the reason why I'm doing this when we come to a, a go and capture it. We'll send Clytus over there with his army to besiege that settlement. And that's us ready to go. Let's go and have this battle. It will be long, but uh, hopefully it'll be entertaining for you. Let's go. The army strength ratio is 5 to 3 in our favour, 
take that with a pinch of salt like I do. Uh, we might have um, more than twice the amount of men that they do, but this will be tough, I can assure you. There's that inner wall I was talking about. Oh, there's actually an arch as well. Two little towers on it. Outbuildings there. This is where you get your um, pathfinding issues. Trees down the bottom. Same over this side. Yeah. I mean, they're marvellous looking buildings that they've added to it, but I think these may be the cause of the pathfinding issues, or it certainly exacerbate them. Some trees as well, more outbuildings there. But we won't be going down that way. We've got a sap outside here. Oh, well, there's another one there. And I think they're pretty much in the place where I had them before that I was talking about in previous campaigns. Okay, uh, depending on where they uh, deploy their units on these walls, I'll decide where I'm going to uh, launch an attack with a ladder. I'll take those um, Thrakatai off for now. And uh, I'll put the um, epilectoy on because they've got swords and swordsmen are better on the walls, in my opinion. You don't have to agree with me, it's what I think. There we go, put them there. And then we can always maybe attack that wall there if they don't have anyone too close, which is unlikely, they probably will have them up there. So we'll end up going for a section between the towers. Um, I'll bring up another unit of Epileptoi to back them up and I think I'll bring a couple of units of Therakatai as well like so let's get them all into guard mode right up to this um, first sap now that's going to bring us in quite close to the entrance here that archway um, so I think you'll probably open it up with that one first, then this one. I've got a sort of plan in mind. So I'll bring these Therakatai up here. And I'll support them with a couple of units of Epilectoi. And then up here we'll do pretty much the same. Oh no, hold on a minute, I'll tell you what we'll do here. I'm going to send the... Um, phalangites in here because they always have a bit of trouble getting through that blinking gateway and if there's a melee going on there then they'll never get in so I'll put them there for now and I'll bring up the last two units of epilectoi and I want to get one of them up onto this tower here as soon as possible I don't think we need to bother about that one I think we're far enough away from it but I definitely want one up there so um, they shoot in the way, so yeah, getting to protect the phalangites once we get them in. I'm hoping to get them lined up here and then draw an attack. That's the idea, and then come in through this breach in the wall and attack them from behind. That's the plan, probably won't work that way, but that's the idea of it. Okay, right then, so we've got four units of um, Therakatai left. Now, I will keep them a little bit close to this group here. Um, if we have to go up in the walls and those Agara Speedies are up there, then we're definitely going to have problems because they're almost impossible to shift 
And if the Basilicoi are up there with them, people will be here forever trying to get them off the wall. So what I'm going to try and do, uh, if I can get my plan to work, or at least get close to it working, the idea is to try and draw these off the walls so we can fight them in this open ground here between the archway and the outer wall. But, like I say, best laid plans and all that sort of thing often don't work. But, I'll try it anyway. Right, let's get this uh, battle started and um, we're going to find out. Oh, right, here we are. So, yeah, they've got one, two, three, four units. Four units up in the walls. So, we'll send this group down here, first of all. And we're going to have a look and see if it's up here. All right. Thrakian Petsoi. Look at them blinking phalanxes that we've got there. Look. They're good for fighting on walls, they are. They might not be the strongest unit, but they do have silver experience and silver upgrades. This is the Heavy Peltas. And another unit of Heavy Peltas, I think. Yeah. It's just as well I didn't have the spy open the gates there. The pummel does. Probably wiped out at least one unit. Uh, what's that other unit there? Right, that's a hot light. It's a pergamon. Uh, what have we got here? Oh, that's the Agri Speedies. Look at these guys. They're wicked, aren't they? Look, the chainmail masks. Face mask, look. Cracking looking unit. I don't know who made them, but uh, kudos to the man. They're brilliant looking. Right, what are we up here? The pathfinding's going all haywire already. That's a Basilicoi. Yeah, that's them. Um, so where's all the cavalry units go on? Oh, it's going to shit. Look at the pathfinding, look. Oh no. I hope they get out of there because it's going to be a nightmare. That'll be the two generals there. And that'll be the Jav Cav. Doing the Canterbury circle already and I'm not facing anybody. I hope they get out of there. Because we can't, we'll never get in to kill them. Alright, let's go and uh, start with this um, sap here. I'll triple speed it to get them up there. down with the favor of the gods uh, let's bring these guys a bit closer not too close to those towers all right we'll bring you up to there you up to there And then you only at that wall. Yeah, good, right, now you can go. The engineers are digging. Soon the walls will come crashing down with the I definitely want to get this uh, unit up on this tower here. Let's see Argara Speedies. The engineering Oops. works have gone well. The enemy walls are now undermined. Ah, uh, the cavalry look as if it isn't the cavalry. Yeah, it is. I see Jav cavalry. I don't know where they're trying to go. That's the pathfinding I was telling you about. How bad it is. But I'll just need to find a way around it. No choices. Get him up here. The man is complete and the wall has collapsed. Good. Our soldiers have captured the walls. No, no. Now is the time to press on and capture this place. Get these Thrakatai down here on fire at will. 
and then let's get these pets hit heroin. in. Cirrus is down. Bring them up a bit closer. Okay, look at that. <laughs> One of that cavalry unit getting carried away. Hold them up. Let's get you guys in here. You guys in there. Come on, hurry up over this way. Bloody pathfinding. Okay. Just hold him in place, that's it. Wait to the form up before you get them to throw. There we go. You just attack the cavalry and kill them. Right, let's go again. It's a misfire. And again. Last one. Try and get them through there. Right. Get them in there. See if we can bring them down here. Salmon. What are we doing here? I think we'll get rid of all those jab calf. They're just warmed up. But put them there. Let's get them back out again. We'll get these guys here to use their javelins. No, bring him out. Let's bring him out. Oh, we need that one in. That one out. Get some more left. And again. Right, you can take them in. Right, they're down to nine left. Oh, I've done well against them. Really well. And I haven't taken as many casualties. I thought we'd take a lot more than this, you know. Bring you up there. Try and get them off that wall. Right, 
one left, that's it. Right, tired, very tired, fresh, winded. Right, we'll use these, so here they come, let's get them up here. The Rakitai. Get him up here. Fire at will. He's the racket tie around behind. And there. Let's get these out. Because they're tired. Put them over there. Get these down here somewhere. Right, we're ready for them. They're going to come over here. Do you stay where you are? Now then, let's get round here and get this ladder. They've all come down off the walls. That's good. Hot lights of Pergamon. Where the hell are they going? Look at this lot here. Yeah. The ladders are in place and our men are now attacking. Jesus Christ. What use our walls? Right. The ladder's up in the wall now, is it? Let's get you down here, guys. Open the gates. Keep them all the way around now. Up to here. And then finally down to here. Heavy Peltas. They recovered, yeah, fresh and fresh. Let's bring you up here. Bring you there. How are we doing? Excellent. Right, where's the rest of them? Let's get you up here as well. What on earth are they doing there? It's the two generals. 
Well, we've got the gateway, so let's get these guys in. And up to here. What's that there? Tracking pets away. This is hard work, you know. Get them in as well. the other unit well they just say you come around this way or they have <laughs> oh god one yet. Jeez, it's taking a while. Now then, what's on the other side of this? Where have they all gone? Oh, they're there. They are. Oh, Christ, what's going on? Where they come from? I don't know. Bring them up to here. Still 70 in that Pergamon, oh wait, it's a Pergamon unit. How long have we been battering them? Oh, here you go. Something here. Get in there. You get in there. And I can't get up there. Let 
They're refusing to go up here, go up here. I think I've had more trouble fighting the pathfinding than I'm fighting them. Kill that leader. Very good. There he goes, I think. I thought he's about to go there. The enemy king has been killed. There he is. This will surely make his followers waver. I just finish them off. Okay. Not too bad. Took a few casualties with these guys, they're very tired, so bring them down there out of the way. Have we got this one sewn up now? All done at last. Crikey. Right, let's get our phalangites out of the way for now. See how tired they're tired, winded, tired, exhausted, winded, and exhausted. Right. Winded. Fresh, warmed up, winded. Let's go and see what they've got left in this square then. Crikey! <laughs> Jeez, oh. Right. Hot, is that bas oh, that's a Basilico Peltastai and Hot Light, so oh, bloody no. Right, then. Uh, I'm sending them down this way, but Just run them up the last part here if I can, try and get them. Jesus. Get you over here. You down there, where's the general? Get him down there, gives a bit of a morale boost. Right, just hold him in place.
Okay, let's get down here. See you do a bit of damage. You won't fire it well. What have we got? Have we got any fire? Right then, get a couple of close ups and I'll triple speed this. What's the damage? 21%, that is much better than I expected. Expecting around about 33 35 by now, at least. Bring some more up. Eighty-three percent of them have killed, so we're not far off it. Just breaking down, just the resistance we've got to break down here, because of the experience they've got and the armor that they wear. The fact that that's upgraded as well, of course. All right, I think it's time to take them all off guard and let them free. We didn't get it over with. We lost twenty five percent, twenty four percent of our men. Stuck somebody stuck somewhere. Oh look, ain't gonna worry about that. We'll just end it now. 
clear victory. Well, I'll t I'll say this. I've done our damn sight better. I expected that to be nearly doubled. Or at least another 200. 250. Really pleased with that. Really, really pleased. So my little plan sort of worked more or less, I could say. I have to take a little bit of glory. Um, but yeah, that's worked out much better than, than I anticipated. Okay, we're going to pull in sort of like about 60, 70... Yeah, about 75 back, healed. All right, lovely, that'll do. Okay, we'll occupy the settlement and uh, we'll get the repairs done. Retrain our general. Oh, look at this, we can even get some good troops here as well and an our general. Excellent. Uh, right then, let's get rid of what we don't need. And everything else is fine. Okay, get successor colony in. Taxes can go up a step. We can get uh, all right. We want Antiochus out of there. It costs a lot of money. If you leave them in too long, and let's get, let me see, Lysippus, we'll get you up there. Let me send you back to your army. And we'll put Lysippus in there. And he can become general there, uh, governor there. We'll leave you in there for now. We've got another governor there anyway, Antiochus. Philateria. That all looks good. Um, recruitment, that can wait. Construction, I'll just fly through this very quickly. Um, now then, let's see. Uh, Riverport and Antiochia. Susa. Aqueduct for that. Uh, Mysticar. Public orders at 110, but we're on medium taxes to get that. Um, I think I put the guard patrol posts in there. 5% law and 5% happiness. Charax, we're building there already. Upper Mia. I'll give them an academy. He's still quite young enough. They're yeah, 40. I'll deal with all this as I go on. We're looking to have, get over to this theatre to have a bit of war pretty soon, I would think. Uh, here's Salima. Uh, it's a bit of trading for now. Arbella. I'll just put population growth control, I think. Or the wells. Yeah, yeah, population growth control. Um, Persepolis. Whoa, look at this squalor here. Same as Susan, I was getting bad, but put systems in there. Raggy. Population control in there, I think. Runicolura. 
all sutter up in there. Let's move them all down a bit. Traces a lot in there. Tannis, sutter up in there. Tebas, wells in there. Half horse. That's good. Roads in there, I think. City. Sharecrop mining in there. Elephantine. Satra. Patara. Yeah, Demeter in there would be fine. Gives a little bit more income bonus. Tax bonus, I should say. Cacathio uh, Carta. Tribal Justice in there. Lysa Makia. Uh, public orders at 100%. But medium taxes, that could drop any time, so I'll put Temple to Zeus in there, help that a little bit. There's a quite a 65% unrest in there, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, it's Egyptian culture, that's why. Yeah, yeah that'll do for now. Where was I? You Hesperides. Right, I think I'm going to build the barracks in here. And then we've got two places. Oh no, I'll tell you what, I'll leave that and we'll put this small foundry in. No, I won't. I won't. Let's put the barracks in. I've got two places that I can draw troops from there in uh, Cyrene for when we want to go and attack southern Greece we can build up an army for between those two quite quickly then and uh, Rhodos is building, yeah that's pretty cool recruitment, I'll just swiftly run through this right, let's get some more uh, epileptoid Apamea, we're recruiting slingers here already. Laodicea, get some uh, Thrakatai in there, send them archers in, get retrained in Antiochia. Yerusalema, got an army outside, didn't we? So I think I'll get us another unit of cavalry. Ready for those uh, Nabataean. Um, rebels Raggy now I know I wanted another unit of Pesetaroi because I've got an uneven number down at Apamea so I'll recruit them from there Alexandria get some more Pesetaroi there and I'll tell you what we haven't got any cavalry there are we Get a unit of launch of Freud. Oh, wrong one. No, it wasn't. Uh, Siren. Now we want to get some of these out of here into the fort, don't I? So I'll take these four out. No, I'll take these three out. And I'll queue up another to replace them. There we go. And then you have Spirides already I've recruited a general there. And I want him. Is it him? Yeah. It's this one. I want him to get into the fort. Oh, he's got enough movement. Let's go then. And you go. Um, a 
Thesis we can't recruit, Cadonia we can't recruit, and Antioquia we're already recruiting. Adidas are just retrains. Alright, excellent. Construction's finished with. Marriage celebrations for a couple of our governors. Trade increases for others. Retinue expansion as well. It's all looking pretty good. Please with that. We are a most advanced nation. Rena Kalura we've dealt with. And our turn report's looking cool. Right then, I think that'll do. Well, I hope you're entertained. And uh, thanks for watching. And um, I'll be back in a few days with another episode. Cheers.